Yo, yo, what's going on, my friends, my peoples? It's Styles Morales. This is the Renderverse, and today I came across another AI tool that I could use with my 3D workflow. And I figured I'd just drop a video and show you guys a little bit about how how dope this tool is. Um, it's it's called the Skybox Lab. It's by a group called Blockade Labs. You can go to blockadelabs.com. Um, you click on here, and it'll take you over to a tab that will let you create a 3D background virtual world based on a simple prompt. And this was Cambian uh, land with ambient lighting and hyper real, photorealistic, all this crazy jazz. But what I like about this is you could take this into Blender, add it to an object or as an HDRI um, and use it to influence the lighting in your scene um, so let's say I'm making something that's whimsical that's this colorful you know kind of Pixar-ish um, you know an, uh, an animation or something boom I have something like this um, that was a cool oh uh, you guys missed it I'll show you guys afterwards but that was a really cool um, sci-fi Westeros that I made this is a um, anime style Westeros uh, but you got your, you know, you've got your mountains, you got some reflections coming off the water. Uh, this, this one actually came out really nice. You know, I don't know if that's supposed to be the twins over there. Um, and this must be Castle Rock. Um, I don't see Westeros. Maybe Westeros? Actually, that looks like the Vale. Anyways, um, so this is the land of Westeros in 3D. All right, um, this one's Candy Land. You could do stuff like, let's go ahead and do night. Or, or, or let's, I wanna do sunset. All right, so let's do a sunset on that. And over here, um, I wish they had a horror style one. Let's try surreal. Um, I think if I add ominous and stuff, I can get somewhat creepy stuff out of it. But I don't know. I think it's trained on on really like lighter pictures or something. But um, let's come back over here and here we go. Add sunset and now the ambient lighting is kicking in. Um, you see why I add that in there? So you get these little lights here. Um, but then you got the soft light from the sky. I love the, um, the color of the trees. And you put somebody right in here. All of this is going to affect that 3D um, character or object that you have in the scene. And I think that's pretty sick. So let's jump over to Blender. Um, I gotta come back over here. Beep. Alright, so this was a scene that I was working on. This is one of the cyber cities. Alright, so this is just a sphere all right so as you can see i have it set up as the hdri i can just shut that off oh, i guess i can't whatever um i could always do this <clears throat> go into film and let's go ahead and hit transparent all right so i'll get rid of that background um the lighting is still affecting it but you can't see all of that so less confusion all right, so I added this into the sphere using some shading, you know, so um, all I did was inside the sphere, I added the color into the emission on your principal uh, BSDF. All right, so these nodes control all the attributes to the, you know, the materials for the, um, you know, the objects that you're using. It's always good to name some of your stuff. As you see, I didn't. I'm gonna put reflector, whatever, just so that I have an idea. And I don't know. I have two spheres. I think I tried, I think I was having an issue um, where I was trying to uh, 
have this cast on the inside of the ball that wasn't working and I figured it out um, anyhow so this is uh, a little render that I made and oh it looks kind of cool with the little ball I should have did it with that um, but anyhow so as you can see I just created a 3d world this camera pin is inside of this ball but is creating the illusion that we're inside of this world and I mean if you want to make anime or, or cartoon stuff or even realistic stuff because I was able to get some realistic stuff out of there um, Skybox is gonna be a huge help in that workflow um, let's go ahead and take a look and see what some of these scenes look like now all right so I'm gonna go back here I wanted to see what the surreal version would look like. All right, this is looking a little more like Winterfell, but it does have some casterly rock stuff. Dragon must have burnt something over there. No, there's Western. That's Winterfell right there. And this must be just like the, um, you know, the the Bannermen, where all the Bannermen live, and or you know, another house or whatever. But um, yeah. So, this is, I'm going to do one more. Uh, I really like the, the combination of the Westeros with uh, sci-fi. Um, what if I did? Eerie and ominous. Candyland filled with... Creatures. All right, let's let's see if I can push the realistic um, part of it. I like mixing different, you know, themes and concepts. So uh, let's see how the AI handles that. And here we go again, another cool scene. Okay, so maybe this is this is like Westeros in the future. You got the this maybe supposed to be like the wolf. I could always redo the uh, the wolf um, insignia or whatever the, uh, the seal for the family um, but this I mean come on this is freaking insane look at the like the atmosphere uh, that's why you say atmospheric you get a lot of this fog you know um, and and things tend to look a lot more realistic see everything that's close to us is, is a darker color and as you get back further, it gets a little more gray because of the, you know, the atmosphere between us and that object, you know, and the further you get, the more atmosphere, so the more, um, the lighter things will get. But this is another really dope creation, so I'm keeping it. <laughs> All right. Give that a second. Ew, look at this. I love it. I love it just by, by changing some of the things in the prompt these trees look freaking awesome this is um wow doesn't look like a candy oh well there's there's some candy but whatever is living in this land is obviously eating a lot of the candy you got the sun setting on one side you got like this storm moving in you know like there's so many ways you could tell a story like this is awesome so definitely saving that all right so before the video gets way too long um i just wanted to show you guys this i thought it was pretty dope and i think some of you guys will think it's dope too so jump on the blockade labs play around with it um i'm sure there's other uses uh that you could use this for but for the main part if you're into like blender or unreal engine and um and you want to make some kind of cool animation and you want to focus more on on like the actual scene itself and the characters leave the background to blockade you know what i mean i think this is um, a pretty pretty cool way to to add the background and the lighting for your scene so that you can focus on your animation and all of that cool stuff so i hope this uh helps some of you guys out check it out other than that i'll see you on the next one Peace.